What is up, everybody? Madcap here, and welcome back to Earth Defense Force 5. Boy, I sure hope we get out of the 100% frog levels, essentially, because that was crazy last time. Uh, ants and a f some frogs, good. Yeah, this one. There's so many frogs, it's like a hide-and-seek game, basically. Whew. So let's take this mission... Uh, yeah, spark mine, close laser... Maybe I shouldn't take the closed laser. Huh. Um. I think the pulse machine gun R might be better to take. The Yar. I don't know if the three way is good enough yet. What's the energy cost? 147. Yeah, I don't think it's good enough just yet. So we'll switch back to our pulse machine gun R here and take that in since we got ants again. The long range is good for the frogs, but it's not necessary when it's just them. Not only the aliens, but the monsters are here too! The <laughs> monsters aren't attacking the aliens! Maybe the monsters don't attack those who are larger than they! If we're to attack the monsters, we have to get to a better position. Let's head to the ground! I'm already way ahead of you guys. Let's head to the ground. Head to the ground! Hurry! I'm counting on you, partner. Okay, I guess they're coming. I, I don't know. So much alike. All right. Oh, we're so much alike. Well, they're frogs and ants. We are humans. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit dangerous, though, because you're mixing units now. So I'll be able to kill the ants pretty well, but the frogs are going to start attacking me right after that and basically annihilate me. So let's try to get some shots off on the frog while simultaneously hitting these guys. Looks like the aliens are commanding the monsters. They're commanding the monsters. The monsters can understand orders given by the aliens? Probably. This means the aliens are using the monsters as their weapon. All right. That thinned them out pretty well, it looks like. I can kind of take these individually now. Did I actually get the frog or did he just run away? I'm not entirely sure. There's no way I killed both of the frogs. That would be ludicrous. I was aiming in his direction, but... I don't know. There's a weapon. Oh, there's a frog over here. Let's go get him. Get him, boy! Oh, froggy! Where are you? I see you! <laughs> This is probably the guy I was shooting. He just ran away like a coward. Don't sit on my armor. I need it. There was also a small health there, wasn't there? No? I thought I saw one. Unless I accidentally picked it up when I landed. I suppose that's possible. Have my guys made it to the ground yet? Uh, it doesn't look like it, actually. I, I don't know where they are. I'm just going to go check on them, see how they're doing. Where are they? I don't even see them. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Well, I'm glad I went to check on these guys, because uh, he has a triangle above his head. Alright, now I've got him. Let's go. It's always unfortunate to have rangers following you, though, or even worse, the fencers, because... They're so slow compared to a wing diver. So slow. The only good thing, though, is that it allows you to have uh, backup on the way. So you can go in and kind of strike, do some damage, and then when you're getting overrun, hopefully the guys are right behind you at that point. Hopefully. Okay, we have a frug. A fruge. And we've got ants. Black ants. This takes 117 to charge. There we go. Okay, we'll see if we can do this without triggering the other set of guys. Alright, come here, frog. Yeah, I saw that hole coming, but I couldn't change my course fast enough. Got him. 
Yes! Oh, I ran into his dead body. Oh, nope, we did grab the other guy. That's alright. Let's see if we can get a charge out of this. A dreadful beast masters? See, now there should be a pincer maneuver. My guys should be behind me, closing in on the other side. Yes! Got him. Okay, that's great. I should be able to survive the generic enemies. It's the frogs that I'm really worried about, so once they're dead, I can kind of relax a little bit. If you don't kill them, you'll be killed. Hello, teammates. Okay, we're plowing our way back in. I see him down there. I'm not in range yet, though, I don't think. I'm just going to have to plow through everything else. The goddamn aliens! Still doing good on health, though. A ranch? There are seven billion human footers on Earth. The monsters will be well raised. Oh, I can't keep these guys stunned. Yep, yeah, we gotta go. Oh crap, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, it is hitting him. I, I think I killed him, actually. Okay, reload that before I kill myself, accidentally. No, that's not what I- oh man, I meant to switch weapons. Alright, there we go. Leave the big health. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy before the other frog gets here. Three, four, five, six, six shots, alright? I saw a small health round. Oh crap, I don't have enough either. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, burn it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Okay, we are in a dangerous spot right here, so I gotta pay attention. I'm reloading. I have enough to reload. I have enough to fly. Okay, good. It's always the danger, though. Come here. Stop shooting my people and... Me! Thank you. See, sometimes you just have to ask. Top off health. Oh, I don't have enough for that. What was I thinking? That was stupid. I have five shots here, though. <laughs> I think we're out of frogs. Unless there's some coming from the side. Ow. Trying to keep an eye on drops while killing things. This is a special news flash. News flash. The aliens dispatched infantry units to Europe, but the EDF was sent in to engage the enemy and secured a victory. That's me. I secured a victory. Now I'm famous. That guy's almost dead. Well, I don't think it matters that much, but still. The bullets don't come out? The bullets don't come out? Oh my god! Uh, some armor over here. There's a weapon over there. I should be going for that, not this. But, of course, it's already set. There's still three guys alive. Three enemies, rather. Not three of my guys. Okay. I see you, weapon. I see you hiding over here. Shvit! Okay, there's one more guy to go. Reload up. I'm just gonna burn it off. Mission clear! 
Yes. Go, go. Phew. That wasn't too bad. Now that we've got frogs mixed with other units, it's it makes an interesting strategy because you need to really go for the frogs first if you can, because you can't just dive into the pile of ants now and just start killing them all. Because if you dive in the pile of ants, the frog's going to rip you to pieces. So that's kind of where it's useful to bring in the long-range gun, because you can shoot the frog from far away, kill him off, and as you kill him off, all of the other units are coming in to fight you, and you can take them on. So that's kind of the strategy I usually use, but I don't know if the closed laser is good enough just yet. Uh, I am on hard. Uh, with the couch co-op stuff, I'm playing on normal with the person, so... It might need to readjust some of my strategies here. Just a little bit. Uh, what do we get? Rapid Mirage? Two of those. Uh, Gleipnir, a couple Phalanx. Nothing super exciting. The Rapid Mirage is good to see, though. New Rapier. Damage 4.5. Huh. Plasma Big Can. Don't really use those. Rapid Mirage. Up to 17 damage. Uh, energy cost is down 0.4. With, well, since it's rapid, that's probably fairly helpful. Every little decimal place you can take off there. Thunder Cluster, don't really use that. Wow, the damage is up a lot, though. It's basically tripled. Holy crap, that's one hell of an upgrade. Uh, Combat Bomber, who cares? Request Bombers. Wow, I got a lot of Fencer weapons. Jeez Louise, it's like... Fencer land. What, uh, what upgrade is my thingamajig at, anyways? Boo -doo -doo -boo -boo. There it is, close laser. Weapon level 7. I, I don't actually know how to tell if they're maxed out. Is that... I, I don't actually know. Because this one's weapon level 11. But it only has 5 stars. I still don't fully underground the upgrade system, or understand the upgrade system. It's level 7, but it has 5 stars? Somehow? Because there's a bunch of stars down below to like capacity, damage, shot speed, range. I would assume it's maxed out when it hits the white star, which is 5 stars. So this one, it's only at level 1 damage, but it's almost maxed out for capacity. No, see the... This one has energy cost 5 star, but it's not maxed out. That one has 8, so I guess everything has its own little range that it can go to. This one just happens to be maxed out at 8 stars instead. Which is odd, but... I don't know. This means the closed laser still has a ways to go, which is great. And how's our sparkline doing? Uh, sparkline... Y6. Basically maxed out. Just has a little bit of energy to go. And that'll be set. So it might be time to start looking at some of the newer weapons we've gotten, like the Spark Whip maybe? That one's maxed out at range already. Damage 33 times 11, which is technically better. Focus attack single point, swap can attack over a wider area. Hmm, range 61, range 70, so the range is pretty comparable. I don't know, accuracy A minus. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see if we start if the spark vine starts not keeping up. So far it seems to be doing pretty well though. So not terribly concerned. Thunder crossbow, lightning bow, one of these in here might be able to take its spot. I thought it was the crossbow. But this doesn't only gets one shot, so that must not be it. I'm not sure. And I've still got the pulse machine guns, so if this could upgrade a little bit, I could start getting a little bit more into that if I needed to and kind of go from there. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, though. But that's going to do for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Until then, stay metal!